What's up everyone? Welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over Google AdSense auto ads and really everything you need to get started. So first things first, if you don't have a Google AdSense account already, the way to create a Google AdSense account and get approved is with a website with some unique high quality content. So you can see here, I'm on the Google AdSense page for auto ads, but you everything is gonna be managed directly in your account. So if we come over here to the getting started guide, there's three things you need to get started. A Google account, a phone number and a postal address, and you need to connect your website to AdSense. As long as your website follows all of their publisher terms and follows all of their content guides, you need to just have some high quality content on your website and some unique content, and then you'll easily get approved and you can get started with using Google AdSense and Google AdSense auto ads. So what I'm gonna do now is go into my account and if I open up my Google AdSense account, you can see here over on the left-hand side is ads and overview. And then there's also sites here on the left-hand side as well. But if I go to ads overview, you can see I can scroll down by website, by ad unit and global settings. Let Google place ads for you, that is auto ads. So we're just adding one piece of code to our website, Google will automatically show ads in all the best places. Okay, so in order to use auto ads, we do need to place that one piece of code on our website. So I'm gonna show you how to place it on a WordPress website, there's a lot of different ways you can do it, and there's a ton of different ways you can do it for different types of websites, but I have a WordPress website, so we're gonna click on Get Code right here, and you can see our code is right at the top. We can just click on Copy Code Snippet, now it's copied, and you can see we're gonna copy and paste this code between the opening header tag and the closing header tag on our website. The best way that I know how to do that is using a WordPress plugin called Head, Footer, and Post Injections. So I like to use head, footer, and post injections because as you upgrade your website, as you upgrade your themes, you don't have to worry about losing pieces of code or anything like that as long as you have this plugin installed. Again, there's a lot of different ways to use auto ads, but this is the way that I like to use it. So what we're gonna do is come over to our website. So once you've downloaded and installed that plugin, you can just come right here to the plugins page and go to add new. And from there, just search head, footer, and post injections, and you're gonna have a plugin that looks like this. So you can see head page section injection, and this is where we're gonna put it. So it's on every page in between the opening header tag and the closing header tag. So we're just gonna scroll to the bottom here and we're gonna copy and paste this code right here. So I already had it there, so I just copied and pasted it. We're gonna scroll to the bottom and we're gonna click on save. So that's all you need to do is add that one piece of code to your website. Now you can do this manually if you're using Shopify or some of these other different website providers, but if you're using WordPress and a lot of people are using WordPress, I would recommend using the head footer and post injections plugin because that's gonna allow you to just place it right there. So now we have our code ready. So that's all you really need to place. You don't need to put code anywhere else on your website. You don't need to come over to your website and do anything to any of the side widgets. You don't need to try to use ad inserter to put codes anything at the top. If you're just gonna be using auto ads, that's what you're gonna be doing. So now what we can do is get into turning on auto ads for our website. So we're gonna come back over to Google AdSense. We're gonna click on done and we're gonna come down to our website. So what we're gonna do is scroll down here. You can see the different websites that I have approved already for Google AdSense and some of the ones where I'm using auto ads and it's on. So what I wanna do is come down here to wickerguide.com and we're gonna click over on the edit button now some quick things, they prepare a preview so you can see how the ads are gonna look on your website. What I wanna do is just go over some tips real quick and some best practices. So if we come up to the top and just some quick tips and some things to know about Google AdSense auto ads. All you do is place one piece of code on your website. You're no longer controlling where the advertisements are. You're putting one piece of code on your website and you're allowing Google to choose which ads to use. And you can adjust the ad formats you wanna use through your AdSense account you can choose the number of ads per page through your AdSense account, and you can enable and disable them at any time. Now you can keep your existing Google AdSense ads and turn on auto ads at the same time. So with that, I'm gonna come back over to Google AdSense and you're gonna see optimize your existing ad units. So if you already have ads in certain places, let's just say you want an ad at the top of every single page on your website, you can keep that advertisement there. And then what you're gonna do is optimize your existing ad units once you turn on auto ads and what it will do is work with your website and work with your existing advertisements so they don't place double ads there. So we're gonna come back down here and accelerated mobile pages, you can use auto ads for your accelerated mobile pages versions of your website. 
Now, one thing to keep in mind is if you're running multiple advertisements, Google AdSense is not going to work with them. So you want to make sure where you're running advertisements, you keep in mind, you don't want too many on the same page because if you're placing Amazon associates ads and you're placing advertisements from other ad networks or affiliate programs, you might start to see too many ads on one page. And you can also set page exclusions through your Google AdSense account. So if you don't want ads to show on your contact page or on your home page or any major pages on your website, like a privacy policy or at terms and conditions, your checkout pages. So some of these different pages you don't want to have any ads on, you can set all those exclusions directly through your account. So these are all the main tips that you need to know when you're getting started. So we're going to come back over here and right now in our ad settings preview for wickerguide.com. So what we want to do is we're going to first turn on auto ads and we're going to apply it to our website. Okay, so two things apply to site. You could either apply now or you can run an experiment first. Gives you time to test your new settings on a limited number of users for a specified time. I would recommend experiments for larger websites that haven't used auto ads yet. If you're a smaller website, you don't have a ton of traffic, I would just apply now and click on save. Okay, so it says success changes can take up to an hour to reflect on your site. With that, I will have a part two of this video showing the different advertisements on my website. I'm going to have some screenshots and then I'm also going to show some reporting as well. So I'm going to show a little bit more about the reporting of your AdSense auto ads, but I don't have any data for this website yet. So we're going to come back over here to edit and go through some of the different ad formats and other features. So I turned on auto ads. I have optimized my existing ad units. I don't have any ad units on my website yet, but if we just look at the preview real quick, so we're looking over here, this is my homepage. You can see wickerguide.com. It's the mobile version. We can also click on desktop to see how the desktop is going to look. So they're putting a large leaderboard at the very top, massive advertisement at the top of the page. Again, you can set page exclusions if you don't want ads on certain pages. So we're going to scroll down. You can see they have another ad here. Keep scrolling down another ad here. So basically what they're trying to do is put different advertisements on your website in places where it's not going to be too intrusive. So if we keep coming down, you're going to kind of see a pattern here of where the different ads are going to go. Basically every couple of paragraphs, there's going to be an auto ad from Google there. So what we can do now is we've seen a preview a little bit. We can scroll down and adjust our ad formats. So we're going to click on the drop down here and you can see there's in page ads. There's matched content, which is only available for eligible sites. For eligible sites, it just means you need a certain level of content on your website so that they can match certain blog posts with other blog posts on your website. So if you only have 20, 30 blog posts, you might not be eligible for matched content. I'm not sure if I'll be approved yet for Wicker Guide, but we're going to turn it on and we're going to see if we get approved. So we'll keep coming down. Anchor ads. So these are ads that stick to the edge of the user's screen and are easily dismissible. There's vignette ads, full screen ads that appear between page loads. I don't, I'm not a huge fan of vignette ads. I'll leave them for now because I just want to show some of my reporting for a little bit. And then they have widescreen, so ads that appear on screens wider than 1,000 pixels, like desktop. So we'll keep scrolling down here. And next is ad load. So if we click on ad load, you can control the number of ads on your pages. So if you're running other ads from Amazon Associates or any of the other ad networks or affiliate networks, you can come down here to minimum so you're not showing a ton of Google AdSense ads along with the other ones on your website. So what that's going to do is take maybe six in-page ads down to one or two. So you're going to have less earnings if you're doing this, but it can also be a better user experience. So this went down to three in-page ads after being in the middle with six. If you go all the way up to max, you might show anywhere from eight to 10 ads on a website or a web page, which is a little much for me. So usually I'm kind of more on the minimum side. It just depends on your overall preferences. And as you use your website, you want to keep in mind of the user experience. So this four in-page ads shouldn't be too bad because I have some pretty long pages of content. Page exclusions, let's manage. And what I can do is add an exclusion and what I can do is say wickerguide.com, this page only that match the exact URL, click on add. So now my homepage will not show any advertisements. So you can do this with as many pages as possible. And you really want to do it on pages where it's going to take away from the user experience of your website. So if we come over here to our website, I have some shop pages on my website. So let's just open up wicker hampers. So we open up this page and we're going to come over. Okay, so looking at my Wicker Hampers page, you can see right here, there's already a big placeholder for an advertisement. 
So I just turned on auto ads. Before I turn on auto ads, this was up at the top. So you can see there's gonna be a big insert here for an advertisement, which is gonna take away from your page's overall experience. So you might wanna turn off auto ads for something like all of your pages that contain this, any one of my shop pages besides the shop homepage has a product cat here. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna copy it, we're gonna come back over to exclusions, we're gonna add an exclusion, and we're gonna paste it right here. And then what we're gonna choose is not this page only, but all pages under this section. So whole sections of the website that share the same URL prefix. So any one of my product categories shares this prefix. So what we can do is click on add and that's gonna remove all of the product category pages. Now we can click on add exclusion and what I wanna do is also remove them from my product pages. So you can see here, my product pages have wickerguide.com slash product. And you can see there's already a huge placeholder here for an advertisement. So I wanna get rid of that advertisement. I don't want anything on the product pages. I'd rather people just see the product and hopefully click on learn more to go to Amazon Associates. So we're gonna come back over to our exclusions. We're gonna take this URL and we're gonna copy or we're gonna paste it here. All pages under this section, click on add. Okay, so now last but not least, I just wanna do it for my shop page. So we're gonna do add exclusion slash shop. And then what I recommend doing is just keeping in mind the main URLs where the advertisements are gonna take away from your overall website. So you might wanna come in here to add exclusion and do something like your privacy policy. You might wanna do your contact pages. So you wanna remove these pages and you can, once you add these page exclusions, your ads will never show there until you remove these page exclusions, which you just come in here and remove. So it's really that simple to manage your page exclusions and you wanna make sure you're doing that so you don't have ads everywhere, even where they don't make sense. So we can click on back here, we, can, we did our ad formats and we can click on apply to site. So now we have our page exclusions here, click on dismiss, you can see we have five page exclusions, we have auto ads on, we place the piece of code directly onto our website. What you can do is come over here to buy ad unit and create your own ad still and still put them on your website. So since we went to buy site, Wicker guide, we clicked on edit and we did optimize your existing ad units. That means if I say, you know what? I wanna make sure at the top of every single page. So if I say at the top of every product page, I want a small ad, maybe 728 by 90. So I want a small horizontal ad here on the top of every product page. I can do that using a different plugin with WordPress. And the plugin that I would use to do that is called Ad Inserter. So you can see here, Ad Inserter for Ad Manager and AdSense ads. You can put any type of advertisement using Ad Inserter. So if you're with other networks, if you're with other affiliate programs, you can use this as well but I have it already installed and activated on my website. It's completely free. So once you install and activate it, you're gonna to go to settings and you're gonna see it right here, add inserter. The way it works is you have different blocks here. So there's 16 total blocks and you can take an advertisement here and choose where you wanna put it on your website. So what I would do is let's say using my example, I wanna put a 728 by 90 advertisement at the top of this page. I would first go over to Google AdSense. I would come over to buy ad unit and I could choose one of these different advertisements here. So I can choose display ads, and instead of choosing responsive here, I could do a fixed size 728 by 90. So you can see here, these are some example advertisements. They shouldn't take away from the user experience too much. Even though I'm not actually putting these on my website, I could just say product pages wicker guide 728 by 90. Okay, so now I know which advertisement this is and where it's showing, and we can click on create. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is take this ad code, copy our code snippet, and we're gonna come back over to Add Inserter, and we could just use block one, we could use any of these blocks here, and we're gonna paste it. Okay, so now you can see we have our code pasted here. So if we wanna do this separately from auto ads, so we used exclusions to turn off auto ads for any of our pages that contain product. So now what we're gonna do is take this URL again, and we're gonna come back over to Add Inserter, we're gonna scroll down, we can say on all posts and we can say on all static pages, insertion. So this would be before post, before content. Before post means at the very top of this. So this would be before post. Before content would be underneath this headline here. So what I wanna do is before post, 
The same thing is if we come over to a blog post, if I do before posts, it's gonna be above the categories here. If I do before content, then it's gonna be right beneath my featured image. It's gonna vary based on the website you have and based on the theme you're running, but it tends to be pretty similar. You can also choose to come over here to add inserter and insert, for example, after paragraph three. So what they, you would do is come over here. So this would be paragraph one. We have some products here. So it probably end up getting inserted somewhere around here. So that's why you're better off with auto ads because the ads tend to look better, especially when you have a bunch of different pages with different types of content. Now, before post, we shouldn't have any issue. It'll show up at the very top here, at least for our product pages. So we're gonna say before post on our product pages, come over to add inserter, before post, we wanna put this piece of code, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on lists. So when you click on lists, it's gonna give you all these different things here that you can choose. So you can pick specific category pages, specific tag pages. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here to URLs, and if we just come over here, you can see there's comma separated URLs, page addresses starting with slash after domain name. So you don't need to put your domain name there, and what we can do is just say, we just want to uh, include any pages that have product in them. So we want to make sure any pages that have product, we're putting this ad unit there rather than using auto ads. So we can save our settings and I've already refreshed the page. So if we come over to our product page, you can see at the very top, we have an advertisement here. Now, obviously we would want to center this advertisement, but I just want to show you the example. And okay, now I actually wanted to show you an example as well. So one of the ad types, if we come back over to our auto ads page, so we're here in ad settings. We scroll down to ad formats. One of the ad types was vignette ads and they have widescreen ads that appear on screens wider than 1000 pixels like desktop. So I actually got an example of this as I'm using my website. So this is what that looks like. So when someone clicks to another page, they're gonna see an advertisement that looks like this and they can either exit out of it or click on open. These aren't the most user-friendly advertisements, but they do earn well. So it's you kind of have to balance user experience with your overall revenue. So that's pretty much Google AdSense auto ads. In a follow-up video, I'm gonna go over a little bit more about reporting. So if we come over here to buy site, you can see wickerguide.com. I have auto ads on, today is March 1st. I do have some page exclusions there, I just haven't reloaded this page. But basically all you need to do, once you're accepted by Google AdSense, go into your ads overview. Once you're here, you're just gonna to come to this page and this is where you're managing the types of ads you wanna use, whether you wanna create ad units like I showed you, or whether you wanna go by website and you're gonna take your website, click on edit, and choose whether or not you wanna show auto ads. If you're running other advertisements like I showed, so you have another advertisement here, make sure that you do select the option where you're optimizing your existing ad units, choose the ad formats you want. For now, I'm gonna keep it wide open for all of them. You can choose ad load for the number of ads you wanna show on your page. I'm gonna go a little bit more towards the minimum side. We can always change this over time. And then page exclusions, I'll probably add more page exclusions, but click on apply to site. Once you add that code, you set up your auto ads, your website will be showing ads within an hour. Mine showed ads within about 10 to 15 minutes. So if you have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments section. I'm gonna go over reporting in a follow-up video, and I'll go over a little bit more about different ad types and show some different screenshots. And then maybe what we can do is run a test of me placing advertisements manually versus Google AdSense auto ads, which I'll most likely lose that battle because Google AdSense is just smarter than me using their machine learning. So if you have any questions, again, please leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.